Welcome to Tech Toys 360, your VIP access to the most innovative toys of the 21st century. We scoured the globe to bring you the best in technical gadgets, super distinct products, and uber powerful vehicles. From the progressive to the inspiring. So sit down, strap in, and prepare to experience the latest in tech toys. Coming up on this episode of Tech Toys 360, discover an aircraft that takes design to new heights. A $250,000 desk, a bicycle made the old-fashioned way from wood, a new concept in keychains, and an automobile that drives underwater. Toys lands in sunny Los Angeles, where the Mavericks at Icon Aviation strive to pursue a single goal, to transform a 100-year-old industry and reinvent flying. The Icon A5 is an ultra-light sport aircraft. This radical new aircraft was developed by Icon Aviation CEO, former F-16 fighter pilot Kirk Hawkins and banker turned skateboard designer, Steen Strand. So the Icon A5 really is the first ever pure consumer-focused recreational flying vehicle. It's, it's not about transportation. This is not necessarily meant, meant to move stuff from A to B. This is about moving you emotionally while you go from A to wherever. With Icon, we're saying, first and foremost, we want this to be an amazing recreational experience. Our goal is to create an airplane that's really compelling to people who may have nothing to do with aviation right now. The Icon A5 is a visually inspiring amphibious aircraft that is the product of world-class design and advanced technology. There's an idea in design that making something simple is the hardest thing to do. Ordinarily, you, you look at an airplane, you walk on you know, some commercial flight, before you turn right, you look left and go, well, it's a space shuttle in there. You look at this and go, wow, that's simple. And whether you're a very experienced pilot, like a fighter pilot or a brand new pilot, you look at that cockpit and go, man, that's perfect. That's actually all I need. The A5 is a bold yet elegant design that communicates beauty, performance, safety, and most importantly for the user, fun. The airplane is amphibious. It means it takes off on the land or the water equally well. So you can take off at the airport, fly to a local lake, fly to a grass strip, a remote runway, so you have a, a vehicle now that gets you out of the city and into uh, the back country in a very easy and, and accessible way, or allows you to go from airport to airport. The Icon's maneuverability in water is like a jet ski's, if a jet ski could fly. The airplane has sea wings platforms, and then combined with that, at the tip of the wings, we have these hydroplane surfaces. Just means that this airplane, as it's moving on the water, can lean left or right. And in this scenario where it means too far over, which is a pretty rare scenario, and the wingtip actually touches the water, that wingtip will plane off the surface of the water. But probably the most striking features is the folding wings, technology and engineering at its finest. The airplane has folding wings, so it allows you to store it at your house or tow it on the road, like a Mastercraft wakeboard boat. So you can have the airplane at your house, take it to the airport, take it off the trailer, unfold the wings, take off. The Icon features advanced tech and impressive safety measures. So the airplane has an optional parachute system, right? So you pull a handle, less than half a second, a rocket pulls the parachute out. The Icon is powered by a single 100 horsepower Rotax 912 ULS engine that can run on aviation grade or automotive grade gasoline. Uh, it burns equally well premium auto gas or aviation fuel. Why that's important is that you can fill it up at the gas station or the boat marina or the airport. The Icon boasts a top speed of 120 miles per hour and a range of 300 nautical miles. While the Icon's cockpit is far simpler than those in a conventional aircraft, it features state-of-the-art instruments such as an angle of attack indicator. In the instrument panel, there's something called an angle of attack gauge. It is the most important variable you can possibly have access to while you're flying a plane. And most small planes don't have this. We put it right up top to have a direct indication of how that wing is doing. Built from space-aged materials and featuring state-of-the-art but user-friendly technology, the Icon allows everyone to fly through the clouds in style. The airplane is, is, is made of uh, sort of state-of-the-art, uh, high, it's high-strength, lightweight uh, carbon fiber. 
And so very common in the, in the high-end automobile industry, also in aviation. So the airplane is extremely strong and also very, very lightweight. The Icon was designed to inspire and to provide the ultimate aviation experience. It truly is bringing consumer product design with automobile design, with boat design, with engineering design, and roll this all into one into an airplane that across the board is will deliver an amazing human experience for so many people who have been dreaming of it. Priced at a mere $139,000, the Icon allows everyone to fly through the clouds in style. There are desks. And then there are desks. Tech Toy's latest discovery brings us to Great Britain, where innovation meets design. Introducing the super stylized Bugatti desk, an incredible desk with the soul of a classic race car. The high tech designed Bugatti desk is the creation of Alan Sawyer, the owner and chief designer of the specialty furniture company Lutso Bespoke Limited. The idea is not to make a desk that looks like a motor car or to use any part of a motor car. The idea is to use the essence of the car. This sleek and sophisticated desk draws inspiration from a fitting source, namely the Bugatti race car Type 35 of 1924. My background in furniture and the experience I've gained in automotive, we thought we could combine that to make a unique product. And the desk is the first of, of our range. We've never shown this to the public before. The desk borrows its gleaming blue color from the mark, made famous by Ettore Bugatti, but takes most of its cues from the Bugatti's mechanical details, like the honeycomb of their stunning grills. The inspiration was a Type 35 Bugatti, which belongs to my next door neighbor. And we took hundreds of pictures of the car from all different angles. And these were then put into a storyboard which was put up in the, in the workshop. And the team then looked for little areas that we could use to develop into the desk. The Bugatti desk spares no attention to detail. Several coats of primer are applied prior to the application of six coats of catalyzed acrylic paint. The finished panels are baked for 12 hours, then polished to remove imperfections. The desk has French racing blue color synonymous with Bugattis. A uh, lot of cast parts on a Bugatti. Now for us, casting wasn't an option, so we've machined every part from billet aluminium. The complete desk has been machined from 7,000 grade aircraft grade aluminium, and the top, for instance, has a aluminium chassis, which is then clad in sheet aluminium. The Bugatti desk remains true to its 1930s inspired technology requiring its fortunate owner to adjust the height of the desktop via a glorious polished metal hard crank. But the desk contains all of the modern touches as well. The built-in Apple iMac can be deployed electronically through the desktop via a rack and pinion system, while it remains concealed beneath a vent when not in use. A 20-man team spent some 2,000 hours to complete the design and tooling. A further 1,500 hours were required for the machining, polishing, painting and assembly of the desk. The resulting finished product is beyond perfection. Born of expensive milling machines, the Bugatti desk bears a price tag close to that of the vintage cars that inspired it, nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Embodying the essence of Bugatti race cars of the 1930s, the Bugatti desk is much more than a piece of furniture. Rather, it is art, with the soul of the open roads. Coming up on Tech Toys, we'll travel to Portland, Oregon, where Mother Nature provides the primary ingredient for a high-performance bicycle. The bicycle has a long history of innovation since first rolling onto the scene in the early 1800s as a novelty item in the royal courts of Europe. Today, most high-tech bikes are constructed of super light and strong space-age materials to create unique functional designs. At Renovo Bikes, based in Portland, Oregon, they use a more down-to-earth material to produce their high-performance bicycles. Wood. That's right, wood. Once used as a strong yet lightweight frame for vehicles, the use of wood has a rich time-tested history from ocean ships to high-performance aircrafts. The idea of a functional wooden bike frame is a long-time vision of engineer Ken Wheeler, 
founder of Renovo Bikes. I was inspired to make wooden bikes by making composite airplanes. In the design of composite airplanes, I explored uh, wood as well as composites for engineering materials and probably would have produced a wooden airplane had it not been so difficult to work with the wood. Using today's cutting edge computer technology and super strong epoxies, Renovo uses nature's original building material to produce a bicycle frame that is as beautiful to admire as it is a pleasure to ride. Wood, of course, was the first material for bicycles. Uh, we brought that back because it offers unique and distinct advantages over other materials. The key uh, element is that they are hollow, which of course the original bikes made 200 years ago of wood were solid wood and quite heavy. We make the bicycles hollow by producing them in two halves. So each half is hollowed out and then they're bonded together down the center. These wooden marvels offer a remarkably smooth and responsive ride, quite different from their steel, aluminum or carbon fiber counterparts. If you compare the durability of our wooden frame against a comparably priced steel, aluminum, or carbon frame, you'll find that the wood withstands impact better than those materials. We expect that the wooden frames will outlast any steel or aluminum metal frame simply because it has substantially longer fatigue life. It's about the same as carbon. The frames are exactly machined by computer-guided cutters and bonded with the strongest of epoxy. This creates a hollow monocoque tube that is then sealed with a linear polyurethane coating, the same durable waterproofing used on modern wooden boats. At three and a half to five pounds for the frame and under 20 pounds for the bicycle, Renovo rivals the latest in alloy or carbon fiber bicycles in net weight. These innovative frames offer an extremely smooth ride due to the natural shock absorbing qualities of wood found in its molecular composition. The handcrafted frames consist of sustainable sourced woods such as ash, curly maple, and bamboo. The stiffness of a bicycle needs to suit the purpose of the bicycle. A cafe cruiser city bike doesn't want to be very stiff. A race bike that uh, where someone's going to be climbing hills or sprinting needs to be very stiff. Every piece of wood for every bicycle is tested for stiffness. That way we can predict what the final bike will be. We also test every bicycle. We both preflow the head tube and test it for stiffness. So it acts as a complete quality check and verifies our prediction for stiffness. No two bike frames look the same. The wood from tree to tree will vary in figure and color. We don't stain uh, the woods or paint any colors in there. They're all natural wood. Unlike other bicycles, these beautiful wood frames can be refinished after years of use to look brand new. The time to produce a bicycle varies greatly with the bicycle. Uh, the particular layup of the woods, the type of wood, uh, how many different woods in the bike and the particular model of the bike. So it can range from a week to six weeks to produce a bike. Renovo's handmade frames start around $1,600 and reach upwards of $3,200. With their use of innovative technology and craftsmanship, Renovo wooden bike frames combine to create a striking 21st century example of art, form and function that changes the way we look at one of our oldest modes of mechanical transportation. Coming up on Tech Toys, discover an innovative device that transforms a keychain to a high-tech gadget. At a time when technology has made nearly every consumer product from cell phones to laptops smaller, sleeker and more dynamic, one everyday item has lagged behind. The simple keychain. With modern keys exploding in complexity, featuring computer chips and security measures and people attaching more and more items such as fobs and flash drives to their keychains, Keyport has changed the playing field forever with their revolutionary Keyport Slide, the ultimate keychain alternative. Keyport has developed a product that addresses the time-frazzled modern consumer's often overlooked need for organization, access, and storage of keys and other personal items that get crammed onto an overstuffed keychain. Keyport began when founder and chief product designer Josh Downs set out to create a more practical alternative to his bulky keychain. 
mainly because I'm a motorcyclist and every time I got onto my bike, I had to remove the bike key, otherwise they would scratch the handlebars, they'd fly around in the wind and make a lot of noise and it was just kind of an annoyance. I basically took all, all the keys on my keychain at the time, I cut the tops off and I stuck a pin through it. Down's brainstorm seems simple. The blade end of the key is all that is needed. This cleverly designed lightweight device has six nodes that deploy a variety of keys or accessories, including a USB flash drive. Downs and his partner David Cooper work together to fulfill the company's mission of replacing traditional keychains with more comfortable, accessible and stylish access solutions. Most people carry three things with them every day. It's their wallet, their cell phone and their keys. And while the wallet and cell phone are getting smarter, faster, lighter, stronger, keys are getting increasingly unwieldy. But concept and execution